Good morning, you guys. This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, or welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys, sorry. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Cat. Um, this is the daily tea. It's a little different than my other readings. It's more general current pulling of the energy. I, I don't you go down there. No. Um, it could resonate 24 to 72 hours out from the time that you view it. However, everyone's a different time in life has. So for some of you guys, it could resonate outside the 72 hour time frame. I uh, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,320 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. Um, if you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to our the links in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Personal readings are currently open today because uh, I don't have my kids today. It's just me. So um, they're open until 7.10 on noon. Uh, noon is 7.10. Uh, it's Saturday, 7.9.2022 right now. They're open until noon is 7.10. But I do screen. I don't just give readings just to anybody. If I feel your energy's off or I feel there's something funky going on, I don't do it. And that's just the truth for real, real okay? Uh, just being straight up. Um, they're $125 for 20 minutes. If you're interested, if I go over, I don't charge you extra, okay? All right, so we're going to jump straight to the reading. Hope everybody's doing well um, on this lovely Saturday. Um, everybody please think of me because on 7-15 of 2022, I have a child custody battle upcoming with my ex-husband. This is not the uh, first rodeo with him. This is actually court battle number five, at least number five. It's, um, I think it's more like six or seven and that's just the truth, um, with him. Um, he's went, took, taken me to court before several times for child support adjustments when I was, when I became a nurse many, many moons ago, back in 2014, when I started working as a nurse, he took me to court back when his wife was not a nurse yet, um, for child support adjustments, which I understood that, but then he accused me of child abuse for the last one, which was completely out of line and more accusations on this one. So, um, if anybody could, everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and prayers and well wishes, I really very much appreciate it. Um, because he seriously is not, um, he's, he's a piece of work is what he is. He's a piece of work and it's just the truth. So, um, I'm not lying about that. That's the truth. So, um, I'd appreciate all the thoughts and well wishes. Um, and also too, he has, a. um, I'll just give you an example. The last court time we went to court, the last time we went to court, I had a uh, boyfriend the last time. Uh, well, not the last time, the time before. The time before. The last time he accused me of child abuse, I didn't have a boyfriend. The time before, uh, it was about six years ago, I had a boyfriend and he he flipped out. He literally flipped out. I had a boyfriend who flipped out and I lived in a rental home in um, the town I lived in before I moved to the city. Um, I moved to the city five years ago. I lived in the rental home about six years ago when I was dating him. And he swore up and down that this guy was living in my home. Like, he kept telling me, he's living with you, he's living with you. You're breaking the papers. You're breaking the court papers. You're breaking the court papers. Uh, but the guy didn't live with me. He didn't live with me, but he did have stuff in my house because he lived 45 minutes from me. So he had, like, toothbrush and toothpaste and razors and... um clothes in a drawer that I, you know, put in there for him and things like that. So when he came over, he would have stuff to take a shower and things like that. He manipulated my daughter at the time, um, about six years ago. She was about 10 at the time, 10 or 11. He manipulated her. He had just recently bought her a phone at that time, strategically bought her a phone at that time. Um, and had her take photos of the clothes in the drawers and, uh, or in the drawer, whether it was just one drawer, in the drawer and the toothpaste and toothbrush and razor um, to prove as evidence going into the court of law that um, um, he lived with me, basically. But he didn't live with me. Um, and that's the truth. So this is the type of person I'm dealing with, just to let everybody know. 
This is the type of person I'm dealing with. I mean, when he got married about a decade ago, I wished him and his wife well wishes and deuced it. And, you know, you live your life, I live my life. So why you're so nosy about my life, I have no idea. Just leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, I haven't had a boyfriend since him. But doesn't mean that I'm sure he's probably watching my videos. <laughs> um, which I don't care. But the point is, is hashtag live free. I don't mess with you and your wife. You leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? Um, what he's trying to do is financially drain me. Like legal abuse. And I'm just serious. He's trying to financially drain me because he knows I'm having to pay for a private lawyer. And he knows I've spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. So if everybody could just keep me in your thoughts and well wishes and prayers, I'd very much appreciate it because what he's doing is not right. And that's just the truth. So I'd really appreciate all the love and support. Okay, so enough about me and my situation, but I just wanted to make everybody aware if you could just please keep me in your thoughts and prayers and meditations, whatever you do, whether it's spiritual and religious or just spiritual or what you do. No judgments on religion here. No judgments on anything here unless you're a thief or a pedophile. And that's just the truth. Um, okay. So the channel message I received this morning was, and it's, you know, I get the good and the bad and the ugly. Y'all know that. Anybody been with me, ride or die for two and a half years on here, you know this. I heard someone's about to pass away from an overdose soon. That's what I heard. So my condolences to whoever this is for. Uh, hopefully, I think it might be somebody y'all are connected to. Because anybody new to the channel, the way this works, these are psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. The way this works is I pull your energy in. When you watch the channel and when you like my content, my video or videos, I'm able to pull your energy in from energetic space as a psychic. So that's how this works for everybody that doesn't, doesn't know is new to the psychics, new to the spiritual realm, new to how this works. Since it's online, when you like my content, like the video or videos, and when you watch my channel, I'm able to pull your energy in through the energetic space, okay? So I feel for whoever this is for, it's probably somebody you're connected to is what I'm trying to say. Uh, hopefully it's not you. I don't know if uh, maybe some drug, uh, maybe drug users watch my channel. Probably so. I know Carmix watch my channel, so maybe there's some drug users who watch my channel. I'm not sure. Uh-uh, no. Um, so, you know, you have to plug it in how it resonates, but I heard someone's about to pass away from overdose soon. And that's all I heard so far. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Despair. You can't make this crap up if you wanted to. Holy crap, number 32 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 32. For some, it's going to be alcohol poisoning. For some, a meth overdose. For some, heroin overdose. For some, it's marijuana laced with something, something strange. Oh, my Lord, you plug it in, how it resonates. A lot of overdose energy. Holy crap, and moly. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it's somebody you know, but you plug it in, how it resonates. So, well, the alcohol poisoning would not be overdose. That's just alcohol intoxication overdoing it. Alcohol poisoning for one. And I pulled in a young man, uh, around, uh, it was like on July 3rd, that was about to pass away from alcohol poisoning. So I don't know. Um, alcohol poisoning, I didn't hear ages on these people or signs or anything like that one is alcohol poisoning one is heroin overdose one is meth overdose one it is um marijuana laced with something strange i heard i didn't hear exactly what the crap it's being laced with um but obviously their dealer uh, was trying to fluff the mix i'm presuming and put something funky in it i don't deal with drugs i'm not a drug user I'm not an alcoholic, but I'm not a dummy either. So if it's laced with something um, 
funny, it would have to be something that I'm presuming their dealer tried to fluff it up with, try to make the, um, to make it look like there's enough product in there, but they really were putting something um, that's not THC in there. You know, it's kind of like, um, it reminds me of like placebo S type energy, but you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, yikes. Um, despair. They're going to be in despair or you're going to be in despair when you find out about this person that overdoses. Um, that's exactly what I'm feeling here. You plug it in, how it resonates. Some, you are going to be absolutely shocked of who this person is. For some, it's a co-worker. For some, it's a family member. For some, it's your lover. Okay, I heard you're going to be absolutely shocked at who this person is. For some, it's your co-worker. For some, it's a family member. For some, it is a um, lover. So, you, uh, I, okay, so I'm pulling the energy in of the car. The, who I'm pulling in here you are about to find out about these overdoses. It's not you about the overdose. You're about to find out about the overdoses, whoever you are. Now, one is the alcohol poisoning. So they're just going to drink themselves into a bottle or a shot or a keg or what have you. That's for the alcohol poisoning one. For the, but for the other ones, um, it's overdose, like heroin, meth. Um, what was it? Heroin, meth. Um Marijuana laced with something strange. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates? I don't know, man. I don't hang around people. And this is a huge-ass reason why. So, um, I heard you're going to be shocked and in despair. So, um, I'm feeling funeral energy coming up with this. Um, obviously, funeral energy. Um, they're going to pass away. Um. Some of you guys don't even know they're drug users is what I'm presuming. Um, some have no clue, but you're about to get a huge wake-up call. Huge. Okay, some of you guys have no clue, but you're about to get a huge wake-up call. Huge. So some of you guys have absolutely no clue that they're drug users. Um, some, they're your lover. Some, they're your family member. And some, they are your coworker, And you have no clue. Well, you know... They should roll out more random drug screenings in wor um, workplaces. If they did that, then maybe they would prevent people in the co co-working situations not knowing that they're drug users. If anybody in the workforce needs to hear that, just saying, just saying, that's the logical thing. That's what I would do if I was in charge of things. Just saying, just saying. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. There's too many people in abuse of power positions. There's too many people in positions that shouldn't be in power positions. And there's too many underqualified people working in positions they shouldn't be working in in the workforce. But yet you've got somebody like me that's really seasoned that gets wrongfully terminated many times in her city because people try to block her money. Where's the sense in that? Because there is none. And that's just the damn truth. Spirit messages you have protected. Okay. Four shift reverse. Pathway open. I heard get another one. Got enough right. For one of these people, it's a very, very, very famous person. Very famous person. Oh, my God. For one of these people, it's a very, very famous person is what I just heard. Um, a Leo. A Leo. For one, it's a very, very, very famous person. A Leo is what I heard. You plug it in, how it resonates. So we've got a very famous person that is a Leo, a masculine or femme Leo, that is a secret drug user, apparently. Um, younger feminine energy. Younger femme energy. So she's a very famous Leo, and she is a younger femme Leo for one of these people. Now, there's a lot of folks up in here. I think most of these people are regular people like me and you. But one of these people is like a celebrity status. But she's a younger femme Leo. 
Um, K. K is what I just heard. K. K. Um, K. K is in kite. So whoever this person is, maybe that's a first, middle, or last initial of her name or somebody she's connected to his name. I heard K. K is in kite. Um, whoa, this is just, this reading's turn to left. So you plug it in how it resonates. So we've got somebody about to pass away of alcohol poisoning. So drinking too much, drinking to the bottle, drinking, you know, blah, blah, blah. Heroin overdose coming, meth overdose coming, um, marijuana overdose. Uh, well, it's not really marijuana overdose. You can't really overdose on marijuana. What's going to get the person with the marijuana is the stuff that their dealer or dealers have laced it with, um, is what I'm presuming there. Um, I've never done meth and never done heroin. I'm not a drinker, a very rare social drinker. Um, I've smoked weed, but it's been a long, long, long time ago. A long time ago. But um, it's the lacing part here is what this is. Um, this is yikes. Oh, my God. Somebody has got a shasty dealer, which dealers, period, are shasty because they don't care about their clients. Drug dealers, they, uh, anybody needs to hear this, drug dealers, they're strictly in it for the money, you guys. Now, I know you guys are about to find out about these people. I don't feel you're the druggies. Maybe for some, you are. Um, hell, I don't know who watches my channel. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But my point is, drug dealers are strictly in it for the money. Be my needs to hear that. Always. Because they don't truly care and grow and nurture the world. They're in it for the bag. They're in it for the G. They're in it for the bank. They, they, their job is to feed people's addiction so the people will keep coming back for more and coming back for more and coming back for more and coming back for more. And, back for more. and that's just the truth. It's kind of like a porn addiction or a, a pedophile ring or a, um, or, um, a strip club, anything or a terror addiction or anything that feeds people to keep Oh, I got to come back for more. And oh, I got to come back for more. And oh, or reality TV too. Reality TV too. Anything that thinks people got to come back for more. Come back for more. If anybody needs to hear that, someone is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. If anybody needs to hear that. Spirit messages you have reflected. Like Great fortune reverse. Coffin. Heard there's going to be a death. Immature woman. So I feel for some of these deaths, it's going to be a immature femme energy about to overdose or drink herself into a keg or a bottle or um, what have you, what have you. For some, it could be a masculine that takes on heavy femme because everybody takes on masculine and femme energies. So, for some, I feel it's a femme energy, immature femme energy. And, you know, I've said it on here a million times. I'll say it again. It doesn't matter about your age. What it matters about is your mental capacity. And whoever this femme energy is or, or masculine takes on heavy femme, because they're coming up as an immature woman in here, um, they, um, it doesn't matter how old they are, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65. It's how they treat others and how they act in the world. It's their mental capacity. You can be 25 and be the most mature person in the world. Or you can be 65 and be the most immature person in the world. It's not about your physical age. It's about how you act and how you treat others and how you conduct yourself. And that's just the truth. So I feel for a lot of these overdoses, it's going to be an immature feminine energy. For some, it can be a... Um, immature masculine that takes on heavy femme because everybody takes on masculine femme energies but we've got the coffin with the immature woman reversed i'm sorry immature femme energy mature woman reversed you plug it in how it resonates
Number four, 35, six, or 19 could be very significant numbers or 26. Four, 35, six, 19, or 26. Those could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one slide. Four, 35, six, 19, or 26. Course shift reverse, pathway open. There is this very significant breakup in this. Very significant breakup. There's a very significant breakup in this. Very significant breakup. So course shift reverse is the breakup energy. And pathways open and clear. So some kind of breakup energy. I think it maybe has led to somebody. I think. Here's what I think. I heard there's a very significant breakup in this. We have, And it's clear as day with the cards and the messages. Course shift reverse. Pathway open. Breakup. Pathways open. So free to move on, free to move clear, free to, unless you're being gang stalked, bullied, harassed, or retaliated against, just saying. But supposed to be in a free world, um, moving forward and clear. Breakup energy, right? Okay, so here's what I think. Somebody has broke up with somebody. This could be you or somebody you're connected to. You have to plug it in how it resonates. Somebody's broke up with somebody. They're not handling it well, or they're about not to handle it well. They're about to drink themselves into a bottle, a keg, a shot or shots, a 24-pack, a 48-pack, what have you. Or they're about to shoot up one too many meds or what are they called? Bangers or what the hell, whatever they're called. I learned that at the jail when I worked there. Or snort up one too many heroines or meds or however you in intake heroin or meth. I know you can shoot it up because... Um, track marks when I work in jail. Um, I know you can also shoot it up. Um, heroin, I don't know. Um, or um, or what have you, what have you. Or they're going to be so depressed that their boyfriend or girlfriend has broke up with them. Court, courtship reversed. Because for some of you guys, this is your family member. For some, it's your, lo uh, well, lover with the breakup. Lover with the breakup, just saying. Um, for some, it's your coworker. They're going to be so distraught, they're about to go see drugs, is what I'm trying to say. They're about to be so distraught over this breakup, for some of them, they're about to go see drugs to cope, to handle it properly, basically. This is sad. This is sad, but this is the choices these people are about to make, unfortunately. Um, I mean, it, it's sad, but this is the route they're going. This is the choices they're making. So, I mean... You plug it in how it resonates. Immature, I think it's immature femme energy about to do this, about to um, seek drugs as a coping mechanism skill, basically, uh, or a masculine energy that takes on heavy femme, but they're definitely immature in uh, the way they act and treat others because uh, they're pulling up as mature woman reversed. So whether it's a femme energy or a masculine takes on heavy femme, I feel they could be they're very immature. I don't care if they're 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. They're very immature. It's going to lead to a death. Popping upright. Uh, overdose energy. Um, I would love to know what the crap this weed is laced with, man. This is yikes. I'm just saying. I mean, this is scary. That's what, oh, oh. Great fortune reversed. Some of these people are in serious, serious, serious debt. Serious. And some they have stole from you in the past. 
some of these people are in serious, serious, serious debt. And for some of these people, they've stole from you in the past. So great fortune reverse. For some, they're in serious debt. And for some, they've stole from you in the past. So they have a history of theft as adults, I'm presuming, because these are all adult energies here. These are not kids that have stole and their parent or parents, hopefully good parent or parents have taught them right from wrong and they um, become better people and learn from their mistakes. These are grown ass adults, basically, that keep falling into the same old cycle and fall into the same old cycle and fall into the same old cycle and they refuse to learn and grow from their mistakes and they choose to keep being immature and choose to keep going into cycle after cycle after cycle and they don't choose to break out of addictions and now i'm not judging anybody that used to be in a i just want to disclaim this i'm not judging anybody that used to be an addict and now they're clean i respect people like that i just want to throw that out there i respect addicts that have been strong enough in the world to face their addictions head on really go get some treatment and help and face the um face the addiction head on and overcome it i respect those kind of people i've never been an addict for me personally so i can't i can sit here on up on this platform and say i'm a recovering addict because i'm not never been a drug addict never been an alcoholic never a day in my life um and i'm not sitting here saying it on the high horse saying that oh i've never been a drug addict oh i've never been an alcoholic no i mean people go through things but you should never turn to those kind of things either that's the way i look at it but I have much respect for uh, recovering addicts, true recovering addicts that never go back. It's the people that fall back into the cycles. That's not that's not healthy. It's not healthy. And um, hopefully they can get some healing. Um, get some healing. But the thing is, is these people, they choose not, they don't choose healing. They choose falling back into unhealthy, toxic cycles. They don't choose to grow and manifest themselves and to heal and move forward and progress. They choose to roll back into the same old cycles. Well, what I mean, so, which is going to cause a death. Death up. This is sad. This is sad. And huge money loss. Um, well, not money loss. Um, there are thieves too. So not only are they addicts and they don't choose to better them li their lives, they steal from others. Um, this is terrible. For some, it's your lover. For some, it's your coworker. For some, it is your um, family member. And for some of you guys, you have no idea these people are these this way. But you're about to learn it through the form of an overdose soon or alcohol poisoning. And um, this is really sad. It's really sad. But this is what we've got in the energetic space this morning. So. You plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. And then we have that one celebrity, younger Leo, I was pulling in, Dim Energy. So I feel she's 36, 35 or below. Um, she's in her 20s. She's in her 20s is what I heard. Just now, she's in her 20s. <coughs> Excuse me. So she's in her 20s and, hell, I'm an old woman. I'm 38. She's in her 20s. Um, celebrity Leo. Femme, in her 20s. Apparently, she's a secret drug user or a secret alcoholic, too. I don't. I heard the letter K, so I don't know if her initial, first, middle, last initial is K, or somebody her, she's connected to is the letter K. Somehow, the letter K is significant. I wonder if she's a Scorpio, because we have Scorpionic energy, or dealing with Scorpio. Um, this, yikes. You plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know. I'm just a messenger. All right. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped and namaste.